is a small country with very deep pockets and a collection of hundreds of nuclear rockets. A country that's run by a system of laws that has children in prison without any cause. Where a minority rules an occupied nation that lives and dies in subjugation and apartheid state. If there ever was one since 48, when the settlers won. And there is a big country that's ruled by the dollar, where those who have money hold the dog by the collar. APAC speaks, senators jump, from those among them who are lovers of Trump, to the liberals in Portland, Seattle, D.C. White men can't well and Ted Cruz agree that the harshest of means are justified by the ends. Whatever Zionist friends, so APAC proposed, Ted Whiten concurred, to talk of a boycott is completely absurd, and must be opposed by a very big fine, and two decades in prison if you step out of line. So if this law passes, this law against speech, you might be prepared for a spectacular breach, though no one would have the least bit to gain and a whole lot to lose if you were to sing this refrain. If you support the boycott of Israel, if you support the boycott of Israel. Such a short chorus, but not easy to sing when you think of consequences it could bring. It's a dangerous time to say what you think, to express an opinion, to mix paper with ink. Your anti-Semitic will be the line of attack if you dare to support those who fight back. And if that's not enough to keep you out of the fray, they could find you a million for daring to say if you support the boycott of Israel. If you support the boycott of Israel. Whether you support a boycott or not, perhaps we can agree on the situation we've got. A country of settlers and occupied land, senators under APAC's command, who talk about rights, who talk about justice, who position themselves like they lead a resistance, who think that democracy and free speech is fine as long as we never Cross this line if you support the boycott of Israel. If you support the boycott of Israel. If you support the boycott of Israel.